What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to start your very own YouTube channel with as little money as possible. This is kind of going to be like a YouTube starter pack or beginner's kit. I'm going to be going over everything you need to start a YouTube channel and be telling you guys the cheapest options. So with that being said, let's get started. Now let me know if you guys do enjoy videos like this because this was pretty fun to make. So the first thing we're going to be focusing on is going to be the audio because no matter what type of videos you make, audio is usually the most you know common thing. Most videos, if not all videos, have audio. So to record your audio, the best microphone I can recommend for the price is going to be the Blue Snowball Ice. Now the Blue Snowball is 100 bucks, and the Blue Snowball Ice is about 40, 50 bucks. So there is quite a big price jump, but for what you're paying, the Ice still does an amazing job. I mean, I'm using the Blue Snowball Ice right now, and as you can see, the quality is just fine. Now, when it comes to audio, you also want to edit your audio. So the software I would recommend you use is Audacity. I have some Audacity tutorials on my channel. And the thing is Audacity is absolutely free and you can use it to edit your audio as well as you know clear up noise and change the pitch and to equalize everything. It's very simple to use and it is super effective. Now, when it comes to audio and you're looking for music, you can always go ahead and license music. But if you want to use background music, what I would suggest you do is use royalty free music from channels such as No Copyright Sounds or Incompetech.com because those songs are absolutely free to use. Or you can use the music YouTube Music Library or go on YouTube and search for free to use music and use those songs as well. So that's everything for audio. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the actual video quality. So if you guys are planning on actually filming and making actual, you know, films. So when it comes to buying a camera, a DSLR can be very expensive at first. So what I would do is recommend that you use your phone or your webcam. But if the quality is not good enough, a nice camera I would recommend you buy is the Canon ELPH 300HS. It goes for about 100 bucks, 120 bucks. And it is very, very nice. And a lot of YouTubers used to use it for vlogging back in the day. I know CTFXC and Prank vs. Prank, they used to use this camera a couple years ago, so it's definitely not a bad camera. Now, if you're looking to buy a GoPro and you don't have the money and you want to make action style films, a camera I would recommend is the Polaroid Cube because this camera goes for less than 100 bucks and the quality is just fine and it'll get the job done, yet be, you know, a third of the price of an actual GoPro. Now another option you have if you don't want to buy a camera and want to do like face cam videos is to use your webcam or also buy a webcam. So I know Logitech has a wide variety of webcams. Now this one, I'm not the best with webcams, but looking on Amazon, they go from anywhere from 30 bucks to 70 bucks and the quality goes from 720p to 1080p. So you can look around on Amazon and find a nice Logitech webcam if buying a camera isn't your thing. Now when it comes to video editing, there are very limited options when it comes to free. Now, you have the defaults such as Windows Movie Maker and iMovie, which aren't bad. They can get the job done. Now, if you're looking for something more robust and free, you can check out WeVideo, although there is a watermark and it has limitations. Now, the best one you can get for free, in my opinion, would be called Lightworks. It's a software called Lightworks and it works amazingly. I've heard some really good things about it, but the thing is it does have a learning curve. Now, when it comes to actually editing videos and recording the videos, a free software you can get is either the Bandicam Trial or Open Broadcaster Software, which is also known as OBS, which you can use for recording the actual screen as well as streaming onto sites such as Hitbox and Twitch. So it gets multiple jobs done. Now you have your audio, you have your video, you have your music, and you have compiled everything, you've edited your video. The final thing you have to do is just make a thumbnail. So there's actually quite a few different ways you can make thumbnails for free. You could of course use Paint, but there's also software such as Paint.net and GIMP. Now I haven't used either, but I've heard really good things about them. You can do research and find ones that suit you. I know a lot of people use GIMP and Paint.net and they're definitely really good. There's also something called PicMonkey, which a lot of you guys have mentioned, but I've noticed that it only has a 30 day trial. And there's also Pixlr.com, which is a website, which I've shown in my tutorials because it's very simple to use. But yeah, that's literally everything you need to start YouTube. Now, if you don't have a computer, then one thing you can do is actually, I would say um, invest in a cheap computer, you know, from 200 to $300. A good one would be the HP Stream. Uh, the only reason I'm saying that is because it's cheap, you know, it can run Movie Maker, it can run OBS, and it can get the job done, like I said. Or if you're not looking to buy a laptop, I would suggest that you invest and buy a cheap gaming PC and look up tutorials on YouTube, you know, the best $400 gaming PC, the best $500 gaming PC. 
because there's quite a good few PCs out there. And if you're on mobile, then I would suggest you look for apps that can get the job done as well. I know there's like a Photoshop portable and there is recording softwares for iOS and Android. So if you don't have an actual PC, there are still other options out there for you to make videos for a cheap price. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and it gave you some insight on different softwares you could use and you can get started making your videos right away. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, you should give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching. My name is Iova and I'm signing out.